Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will learn together how to apply for Schengen visa for Portugal step by step. So what are the main things that you will learn after watching this video? After watching this video, you will learn how to find and fill the application form completely by yourself, how and where to submit your application form, and in the end, we'll tell you everything about the required documents that you will need while applying for the visa. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you watch this video till the end. So this is the visa policy map of the Schengen area. If you are a holder of a Schengen area uh, passport or uh, a Schengen area visa or a Schengen area residence permit, then uh, you are free to move in any country of the Schengen uh, area. Uh, and if you are uh, a holder of a passport of any of the countries of uh, North America, United States, Mexico, uh, or Canada, or uh, most of the countries of South America, like uh, Chile, Brazil, uh, Argentina, and so on, then you are allowed to enter the Schengen area and stay uh, in the Schengen area up to uh, 90 days visa free uh, also if you are a holder of united arab emirates passport or japan korea uh, malaysia australia new zealand then you are also allowed to stay in the schengen area without any visa for up to 90 days for the rest of the world you will need a visa you will have to apply for visa through the application center or uh, through the embassy in your country and there are some countries that you will need for visa either for traveling to the Schengen area or through transiting uh, for transiting through the Schengen area for example if you are from Iraq Ethiopia Iran um, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Somalia, then you need both visa for the Schengen area or visa for transiting in the Schengen area. So the first and the most important part during applying for any visa is filling the application form. In this section, we will learn together how to find the application form and how to fill the application form step by step. So right here in front of me, this is the Schengen visa application form. So let's check this application form together right here in the section this is for your personal picture this margin over here don't write anything in this margin because it is for the official use only now let's check the sections this part here uh, for your personal information is started with your surname your surname at birth if exist your first name the date of birth Place of, place of birth, your country, your current nationality, male or female, and your civil status, if you are single, married, or whatever, you try to fill uh, this application form um, as full as uh, possible. Don't leave any detail uh, unless you don't have nothing to write. And here, um, some uh, parental authority, if you are a minor, or something if you have a national identity number please write it it is not um, uh, always necessary but if you have it please uh, write it the type of your travel uh, document is it an ordinary passport diplomatic passport in most cases it is just an ordinary passport but in general just choose the type of your travel document and here the number of your travel document the number of your passport the date of issue and valid until the expiry date and issued by which uh, country if you have any personal data of the family member who is in the european uh, union or in the Schengen area you can write uh, you can fill this section number 17 if you don't have any relations with any person inside this area don't write anything uh, family relationship with uh, an eu this is also the same thing if applicable if you have any family uh, relationship uh, here also write it if you don't have it leave it uh, empty don't write anything uh, your home address and your email address write them here and your telephone number also write your telephone number here the residence in a country uh, if you are applying from 
a different country if you are now not in your home country and applying from another country then check yes if no then you are applying from your own country just check no and also your current occupation if you are self-employed if you have a job if you are unemployed if you are a student and here employer and uh, employer's address and telephone number if a student name and address of educational uh, establishment if you are uh, self uh, employed uh, then write still write here that you are self employed and your address and your phone uh, number as you already work for yourself and if you are the uh, business owner write here the name of your uh, business the address of your business the, tell the official phone number of your business here choose the purpose of your journey are you uh, traveling for tourism business visiting family or friends uh, cultural sport so just choose the reason that suits you more and here if you have any additional information on the purpose of stay please write it here if, the, if you feel that you need to clarify uh, something for example you are going on a honeymoon with your uh wa with your uh, new wife or uh, if you are going to make some checks in uh, um, a special hospital there for medical reasons anything just write it here if you want to clarify and the member state of main uh, destination and other member states of destination if applicable so write the name of the Schengen country that you are entering and if there is any other country you are planning to visit along in your visit please uh, clarify it here a uh, maximum write two uh, countries if there and member state of first entry which is supposed to be uh, the country you are applying for here the number of entries requested are do you want a single entry two entries multiple uh, entry depending on your um, needs and the intended date of arrival in the first intended stay in Schengen area your expected arrival date and your expected departure uh, date also and here we'll ask you also have you ever given any fingerprints previously for the purpose of applying for a Schengen visa if yes say yes and clarify where and uh, and when and if no then say no the entry permit for the final country of destination where applicable so this is a section if you are transiting in a Schengen country for example let's assume you are traveling to the United States of America and you are going uh, in a transit in in France for example so in Charlie de Gaulle uh, airport in France so if you need a transit visa and it, it it is dependent on your country for some countries they need a transit visa for other countries you don't need a transit uh, visa depending on your country and the situation and the, the relations with the European Union if you need a visa then you will have to apply for a transit visa for France for a Schengen transit visa so uh, you can uh, be able to proceed uh, your uh, trip to, to the United States but if you don't need you don't have to fill uh, this uh, section because it is where applicable but in general this is for translating uh, cases only a uh, surname and first name of the inviting person in the member state if not uh, applicable name of the hotel or temporary accommodation if you are going to stay in a hotel please give the details of this hotel uh, the name of the hotel and also uh, the address and the email of the hotel and the telephone number of the hotel also uh, those parts the address and the telephone number are not really required but it is good to fill every a single part here the name and address of inviting company or organization if applicable because sometimes you are not you're just going going in tourism and you have already filled and you given um, the name of the hotel then you don't have to fill the section but if you are going in a conference or for educational reasons or invited by a company then you have to write the details here the cost of traveling and living during the applicant's stay is covered 
you will choose either by yourself or by a sponsor host company or organization and also you will have to clarify the means of support is it cash or you will use also credit card or even both just choose that option that suits you more and here this is the declaration part the self-declaration part and in the end you will have to write the place and the date of uh, this application and here also you will have to give your own signature in order to download the visa application form you can go to the visa information section over here and choose the visa type for example tourist visa and once you choose tourist visa here from download the form you can download all the visa forms from here easily so how to apply for this visa vfs global is the office responsible of processing and receiving applications for this visa what you need to do is in this section you need to choose your country where you are applying from if you're applying from india pakistan egypt or whatever your country is and in this section you need to uh, select the country you are applying for if you're applying for austria or belarus uh, bulgaria canada or whatever this country is and after uh, choosing your selection click here take me to the website once this page is open in front of you click here book now and then once again click book now and in the section you need to sign in this website and to choose uh, the place of the office inside your country and the perfect time that you need to submit all the documents for this visa speaking about the schengen visa fees the fees are 80 euros for adult and for children between 6 to 12 years of age the fees are 40 euros and of course you can uh, transfer this amount to your local uh, currency for example in usd dollars it equals to 87 now and if you want it also in indian rubies or in pakistani rubies or uh, in egyptian bound or in indonesian rupiah or in turkish lira so uh, the fixed amount is the 80 uh, euros and it changes of course uh, depending on your country and uh, depending on the uh, exchange rate right now so what are the required documents that you will need while applying for any visa speaking about your passport your passport must be original and it must not be older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps in many cases you will need also a passport photocopy it might be one copy or more than one and it's preferred to be colored and both data page and photo page must be showing if separated in some cases you might be required to photocopy every single page of your passport but in general only the data page and the photo page are the needed ones speaking about the personal pictures you will need at least two personal pictures sometimes only one is needed other times three pictures are needed but in general they are only two they must be new not older than six months it should be clear and show your full face and it is preferred to be with white background and you should give normal and neutral expressions no head or face covering is acceptable except for religious reasons speaking about the visa application form in general cases you need only one copy of the visa application form but sometimes you might be required to submit two copies or even three visa forms are different from a country to another in general cases you should print it and fill it manually but many countries now are providing their application form in an online platform so you can fill the application form online and after that you can print it and sign it anyway for the application form you just fill it as we do in the video in in most of the visa application processes you will be required to provide a proof of status for example if you are an employee you will have to provide a letter from your employer or from your hr department mentioning your name your work detail and your salary and both address and contact numbers should be mentioned also in that letter and all letters must have an original signature and a stamp but in case you are the owner of the company or you run your own business then your commercial registry and your tax card must be presented but if you are a student in a school or a college and enrollment letter should be provided from your university or your school in some certain cases you might be applying from a country different than your own country at that moment you will need to provide a proof of a legal status which is a certificate of legal residence in this country and in some cases a valid residence visa for this country can be also accepted you will also need to provide a proof of sufficient funds which 
which is a bank statement stating your balance for at least six months. The original bank statement must show your name and should be signed and stamped by the bank representatives. And remember that cash will not be accepted as a proof of fund. You should also provide a flight reservation. It could be an initial booking, but in some minor cases, you will need to provide a confirmed booking. And remember that this flight reservation must include a return ticket. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation. It could be a confirmed hotel reservation or an invitation from a host in this country or an invitation from an organization you are visiting in this country. For a hotel or hostel, an initial booking is acceptable, but in some minor cases, you might need to provide a confirmed booking. And anyway, the name of your hotel must be mentioned and the address and the contact number. But in case you are invited by a person, either the letter of invitation should be mailed directly to the embassy or to be submitted by you accompanied by a copy of the passport of that inviting person. Many countries also, especially the Schengen area countries, require you to provide a traveling insurance. And you have to be careful and to apply through the companies that are accepted officially in these countries. For example, in case for Schengen area countries, there are some certain specifications for this travel insurance. Like the insurance coverage must be at least 30,000 euros. And in general cases, you can apply for this insurance online. So I know that some of you are not familiar with how to make a a flight booking or how to make a hotel booking or even how to make a travel health insurance so in this section i will be teaching you how to make all the things step by step there are many sites you can use for booking your hotel like booking.com hotels uh, expedia orbits priceline hotwire kayak agoda all these sites but in this video, I will be teaching you how to make your booking from booking.com. So this is booking.com website list. Let's check this uh, website together. Here you need to write your destination. Where are you traveling? Let's, for example, say uh, I'm traveling to Athens, Greece, for example. And my check-in date will be um, 23rd of May and my checkout date for example will be okay the third of june and how many people i will say only one adult and click search all right then okay here i am having all the offers here um the price here um the currency is in egyptian bound i would like to show it in us dollars so i will choose us dollars over here okay and that is uh the price for essence 130 this hotel um okay and that's for 11 nights for one adult um, you can also make some filters for example like you want to uh, okay top back of your uh backs of your search you want to arrange it depending on the distance the cheapest uh, the price is the cheapest first or the lowest first okay let's see if we can get much better offer okay there is also some other cheaper offers uh 107 for 11 nights this one this one this one uh, zorba's hostel there are many offers so and also you can see the score of each hostel as um, the experience people are giving reviews also so let's check something which is okay this one is with good review uh, so let's check it for example once you open the hostel page like that you will see all the pictures inside the hostel and your details and you can also get some informations about the facilities the house rules uh, the guest reviews also you can read the guest reviews here uh, to know about uh, the experience they had there so there is a single bed in a male dormitory, uh, dormitory room all right so and this is the price uh, okay price for 11 nights okay there are two different prices here but this one is with a uh, breakfast breakfast is included so let's say that i don't want a breakfast i will take my breakfast outside so i will choose one 
and um, here's are telling you what are the extra things that you'll find it's one bunk bed there is balcony city view air conditioning uh, sound proof terrace and a free wi-fi you can even see more here so let's say i'm okay with this choice i will click i will reserve and once you click i will reserve okay there is free cancellation until that 21 of may so there's free can cancellation also no payment needed today you will pay when you stay so you can pay in uh, as a host itself you are booking the last available single bed in mill dormitory room we have in athens uh, place okay uh, are you traveling for work yes or no i will say no and here you give your details first name last name email address it's very important confirm email address and i'm telling you it is much better to register because once you register you already uh, give all your details and you don't have to fill your details over and over after filling all these sections add to your stay do you i'm interested in uh, requesting an airport shuttle if you want uh, a car to take from the airport or something or do you have any uh, special request and once you just fill all these sections over here you just you just click on uh, final details okay once you click on final details uh, then you will review your booking and you will click confirmation and then they will send you an information an uh, email with the confirmation to your email you will have to print this uh, email and this will be uh, the hotel booking or the hostel booking that you will need to submit along with the visa application papers there are many sites for making an online flight booking like uh, momondo kayak expedia orbit sky scanner and uh, price line but in this video i will show you how to make your flight booking using priceline.com so this is priceline.com and here we are booking our flight and i want to show you why i like this site it is departing from let's say for example i am going from india from delhi delhi indira gandhi and i'm going for example to okay sri lanka for example colombo sri lanka and i am only one adult uh, what i like here is they are showing the prices the cheapest like depending on the day you can choose the cheapest price depending on the day so you have more flexibility so let's okay i will travel as a 24th for example and after that the second date oh no i want to check wait i want to check both prices okay this price over here and this okay this one is also cheap so no again this one tell this one let's check it again okay done and once you click done this page will open in front of you and they will show me all the deals and all the prices all right so this is the price for a round trip uh for from uh colombo from delhi to colombo and they are even giving me the name of uh of the airline it is vistara and there is also some other prices here like air india okay so let's just click on this one okay so now i need to choose my return flight also i will choose this one as my return flight or you can choose another flight here uh, as a return flight they are flexible but i will choose this one as my return flight and here i have my departure flight and i have also my return uh, flight from new delhi to colombo at the day and from colombo to new delhi at the day and now i need to make a check out so i will click here continue to check out okay if you would like to add any 
other things like a car shuttle to take you from uh, the airport to your hotel or your hostel then you can just add it or you can also add a hotel here from price price line but i will say no i just would need to continue to the checkout i'm not adding any of this uh, of these things all right okay so here you give your first name your last name your date of birth and your and this middle name is optional so just let's give some informations here date of birth also okay okay just one second for example and then click continue mail continue and and here to secure billing here you need to fill the details of your credit card over here and your billing address over here and once you click continue after that this section will appear in front of you to review your uh, booking and to confirm your booking and this way you can make your flight booking by yourself you don't have to use this website you can use any other website but i just wanted to show you how you can do it by yourself for applying for travel health insurance online for schengen area those are some uh, sites like uh, mondial card axa schengen schengen europe assistance and uh, ins buy but in this video i will show you how to make your uh, travel insurance using axa schengen all right so this is axa schengen.com from where you can get a uh, schengen travel insurance for europe here you have different types like low cost europe travel or uh, multi-trip so what is the difference between all these things for low cost it is up to 30 thousand euros and this is the required rate for europe so you can apply for it there's also another one for much more for 100 thousand euros and there is another one for 100 thousand euros and but this one bear a year so let's just go for the low cost for the 30 thousand the one that we need and the number of people this is the number of people and um i'm traveling let's say at the first of may and here is the end of may and get a quarter so this is the price that i got um this travel insurance uh, for 30 thousand euros will cost me uh to completely totally 56 euros so you can just uh, you if you want to get this also by email you can just write your email here and then um okay i need uh, i have read and received the price procedures and all these things i agree uh, to enter uh partner okay and then click continue and here you get this is a part for the subscription here you fill all your details uh your name and the name the details of the beneficiary which is you also uh, who is paying if you're the same person then you just write uh, uh, like your name up here and down here and after that click confirm once you click confirm you move to the payment section where you make your payment and after making your payment you get to the confirmation where you receive a pdf copy of your travel insurance thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and write your comment or questions down there in the comment section and see you in the next video